Hey guys, my name is Ismas. Welcome to another Blender 2.8 beginners tutorial. Uh, so this time we're going to be looking at uh, a new feature in Blender uh, that lets you uh, edit two separate objects uh, at the same time. At the same time. So we have, maybe let me just show you that feature before I show you how you can apply it somewhere very usefully. Uh, so let's maybe create a new, let me just create a new project here. Say you have uh, this cube and uh, you have another object like uh, a Suzanne monkey here you see they are separate objects and uh, now you can select both uh, with holding shift and then select the other and then enter edit mode and you will be able to enter edit mode edit mode for both uh, the two objects you can move make edits to this and to the second object at the same time and you can see they are still separate object with their own pivot points and uh, their own uh, data so let me show you how this can be really really helpful uh, so this is a a scene i just created uh, today and uh, maybe let me just show you how it looks uh, let's say i wanted to add maybe uh, a roof here maybe a, a row at the top here I would add let me go to layout I would add maybe a cube like this so let's assume this is uh, something I want to add at the top I can go to edit mode of this let me switch to wireframe and go to selection and uh, let's move this vertices like this so this is a different room let's say maybe we have given it some kind of um, so let's say that's another room we have added to the top there and uh, and we are not happy with how uh, low this ceiling is or this roof is and uh, maybe we want to extend it to be around here we can select these two objects or even select the entire scene go to edit mode you can see we are entering edit mode for every object in this uh, scene you can see uh, because this here has a mirror modifier uh, it's being turned off when we sell when we have when we enter edit mode for all the other objects but uh, it's still going to work so we can just uh, make sure that we are in wireframe and uh, toggle the transparency we can just select everything that is attached to the roof Maybe deselect these here, and we can move that. We can move that up like that. Maybe we can also deselect this here. And it, it, this is just an example, so let me just do that. You can see. see now let me just show you how it was you can see you can make maybe you want this to be shorter so you want to half yeah so that's how you can it, it really makes things much easier you can see if maybe I want uh, this second floor to be a bit down a bit lower I can just select everything maybe let me hide the camera because it doesn't have edit mode uh, but uh, then go to edit mode let me make sure i have everything selected go to edit mode i'll just turn on wireframe select everything around this at the top here from the top then lower that of course this is going to to mess up your mode a bit if uh, because I have no topology here, uh, it's 
it's missing back of the week but uh, i think you get the idea so let me undo these because i don't want to make any of those changes 